Hey guys, sometimes you're working on a video project and you really need music for that project. Sometimes you can't find copyright free music on the internet that you can use for your own video projects easily or quickly enough. I'm not an expert using software like GarageBand. I'm not an expert musician, but sometimes I'm making something like the Minecraft lesson trailer I just posted to my YouTube channel this week, and I need some quick music to just jazz it up with. I want to show you how I can quickly make something like this. Using GarageBand. All right. I'm going to go and quickly make a new project and show you how I made this one. If we go and create a new project and we just make a blank project, the only thing I really think about is how fast paced my music needs to be, the tempo of my music. And so normally it starts out at 120, a default of 120, but you can kind of hear the song in your head. Sometimes you have an idea uh, how fast you want your music to be and you can tap it out um, here using the tap tempo. So I'm just gonna hear it. So it looks like mine's gonna be about 110, 112. Uh, so that sounds like it'll be a good speed for my song. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to create an empty project like that. So when it starts up after creating my new project, it's going to ask me to add a software instrument and I just clicked OK and added it right away. It starts off with this classic electric piano, but I'm not planning on using that. I'm planning on making my song entirely out of Apple loops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and click on the loops button. And this is all pre-recorded sounds and music from Apple that works with GarageBand that you can download for free and it involves a lot of music that can loop again and again easily and sound good together. And so I'm going to use these loops to make the entire musical project really fast for my video. And what I do is I just go through and I sort it based on the kind of sound I want. I'm kind of thinking uh, for this one that I was going to start with some drums. Sometimes all you need to set the mood for a video project is some drums. So I'm going to click on drums and then I'm going to filter it by rock and blues to get some rock and roll sounding drum kits. I listen to some of the sounds to see if I could find something that suited the beginning of my song. sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go and just grab that first drum track that I like and drag it out here and it's going to create a new track in my GarageBand project. And now I don't need this classic electric piano anymore so I'm just going to delete it. And now I have the beginnings of my own music copyright free that I can use for my video. I'm just going to add a few more loops together in order to build the backing drum kit for the song. So I like the sound of that drum set number one. I'm going to use two loops of that and then I'm going to mix it up a little bit with drum set number two. Let's move that up here onto the project. Okay, and bar number three. And then I'm going to go back to the first drum loop. Let's give that a listen, see how it sounds. All right, I think that's gonna work pretty good. I'm gonna stop that, and I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna need this music to loop for in my video, so I'm just gonna select these four, I'm gonna copy with Command C, and then I'm just gonna paste it. A lot of times I'm gonna have this drum track repeat again and again and again, and that sounds like a really good start to my song. I only need one more instrument to be able to recreate the music I did for my recent Minecraft trailer. And so I feel like all I need is to find a good bass guitar to go along with those drums. So let's go back up here, click the reset button. I'm gonna have a little look through the rock blues section here and maybe I will filter it by bass. And when I look through here, there's lots of interesting bass guitar in here, but I think I'm gonna go with my picked rock bass. And so this is something that could really help you out listening to the different music and trying to find the right thing that fits your project. I ended up settling on picked rock bass number two. All right.
right, it sounds pretty good. I'm gonna grab that, drag it out here. I'm gonna have a new track, and I don't want it to start at the very beginning with the drums. I'm actually gonna let the drum loop play through one time all the way through before it starts on the bass guitar. And then I'm gonna play this bass guitar part, and it's gonna play for eight bars. It's a little bit longer than the drum track ones were. I'm gonna let that one play through, and then I'm gonna play it again. And then I'm going to mix it up with picked rock bass number one. And I'll put in one last picked rock bass number two to complete the loop. Then I'm just going to grab these, copy them, click here on my track, and we have to make sure sometimes that you've clicked on the right track. This one here, it's gray right now. It's ready for me to paste it in. And I'll paste it in there a few times until it gets all the way to the end of the drum loop and see how they're ending at the same time. And so I've just completely made it um, made a musical track based off of just some preloaded drum loops and some preloaded bass guitar loops. And it sounds like this. Alright, I made music, now it's time to put it into a video project. You've got two different ways you might want to go about this. Most of the time, I make my videos on a PC, not on a Mac, and if I want to do that or I want to use some different software, it's best to go up to the top of the screen, click the share button, and export the song to disk. This allows you to save it as an MP3 file and use it in other video projects, and you can even use it like this in iMovie if you want. If you're going to be using the same computer to build something in iMovie, sometimes it's best to just share it to the media browser. The media browser is a convenient way to open things right away in iMovie. As long as you save your track first, let's go and do a quick save right now. I'm going to call this uh, Goofing Around for YouTube. And I'm going to save this project. And then I go up here and click the share button and click on the song to media browser. And it'll play through the song once and get it ready for use in your iMovie projects. And that's really convenient because right now I can jump over, open up iMovie, whatever project I was working on will be the first thing to load up. And if I click on the audio tab in iMovie, I'm going to see that um, I can then load in things from the media browser, things that I had built already in GarageBand. So I find that really convenient to work with. And that's all there is to it. It really only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to make a complete music track if you kind of know what you're doing. And I only kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not a musician, I'm not even an expert at GarageBand, but even I can use it to create my own copyright free music that I can use for a video project. Hope you liked it. Catch you next time.